guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a makeup haul video it feels like I haven't done a haul in so long but in reality it's just been a little over a month since my last haul upload so if you want to know what's in my makeup haul please keep on watching a mix of both drugstore and high-end makeup brands but just a disclaimer before I start this haul video I am in no way bragging and if you are the kind of person who gets easily offended by this kind of videos you are free to exit your way out of my video but thank you for clicking the link and I also want to disclose to you guys that some of these items were sent to me but most of them I bought with my own money so for the first part of this video I'm going to show you the drugstore items that I got so the first things that I have here are the creamy matte lipsticks from Maybelline and by the way guys this is already available in your Maybelline counters but the launch will be on May 1 and I got 4 shades. This is my first time swatching all of the shades. I ko not have open since I got them from the PR of Maybelline. So these are the swatches that I made with the creamy matte lippies and this is Touch of Spice, Divine Wine. Vibrant Violet and Ravishing Rose. I can already tell guys na very pigmented sila and very creamy. Ngayon ko lang to na swatch. And sobrang mabango siya. Vanilla. So this is a Maybelline lipstick from the Rebel Bouquet collection. And this is in the shade Reb08. Let's swatch this. So this is the swatch guys and I can tell that it's glossy and the finish is really creamy. And then the next thing that I got is this Maybelline Super BB Super Cover and from its name you can tell that it's a BB cream. I am wearing this right now. It says that it's an advanced BB cream with 8-in-1 benefits. I don't know about that but it claims a lot. And another new release from Maybelline guys, this is the White Super Fresh Liquid Powder. This is a liquid foundation that's a counterpart of, wait, this white super fresh no touch up powder foundation. So sila yung mag partner and dito binase yung aking IG contest which was sponsored by Maybelline and congrats to Mel Marvelous and Krisha M. I'll be shipping our prices next week. I really love the packaging of this um, powder foundation because it's very sleek. It's just white on top and then sa likod niya, clear siya. The Maybelline Baby Skin Pore Eraser and this is just basically a primer and it feels very much like the Benefit Professional. I don't know why that is. I've used that from a long time ago guys. Ang difference na lang is that this one is transparent and yung uh, Benefit Professional pag nilagay mo sa face mo para siyang translucent. This is also a thicker formula than the Benefit Professional but it feels like the same thing. This is the Hyper Curl Mascara, just your regular mascara and I think it's one of the pioneer mascaras of Maybelline. I have here this Maybelline Fashion Brow 3D Brow and Nose Palette. This is something for your brows and you can also use this for your nose contour and it comes with a small brush kaya lang wala siyang mirror. So if you're someone who likes to do your um, brows and your nose contour, this is perfect. Hyper Matte Liquid Liner and this is a new release and the difference with this liner tsaka nung isang liner na pinakita ko is that this is matte and I don't know if it's mas black and let's try. So this is the swatch of this Hyper Matte Liquid Liner and I can tell that it's more black and matte than the first liner that I showed you. Next I have here this Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush in the shade 05 Fresh Pink and when you put your fingers on the pan it feels like a sponge um, blush ito that you can put uh, with just your fingers or you can also use your brush. This is another new release from Maybelline and it's their Lip Gradation by Color Sensational and I got it in the shade Mauve 01 and I don't know what it is with Maybelline lipsticks but they are really leveling up when it comes to pigmentation and very creamy. Um, swatch ko siya. This is the swatch. As you can see, it's very pigmented and I can really tell that it glides easily at the back of my hand. I've already worn this one and I love this shade a lot. And it also comes with a sponge on the other side of the pen because pwede mo siyang smudge with the sponge, with the help of the sponge, parang ganyan. So the sponge is best used if you want to achieve the ombre lips. So during the time that I bought some stuff from the Maybelline counter, they had this um, promo going on that when you reach 899 pesos at ayon with the purchase of the lip gradation lipstick, uh, you get this um, lighted mirror and it's very cute. It says Maybelline New York, kaya lang pag inopen mo siya. It comes with a magnified mirror and magnified magnifying mirror and then the regular mirror and when you open the lights, yeah, I don't know if you can see but. LED light siya. 
So this is perfect when I'm doing my first impressions review because usually when I'm road testing something, I don't have an accessible mirror near me. Kaya I'll bring this in my bag so I can easily pop this out and look kung ano nangyayari sa aking lipstick or foundation or whatever I'm testing that day. And then this one can also stand on your vanity. Maybelline Hyper Sharp Wing. This was gifted to me by my sister because she knows na hindi talaga ako marunong gumawa ng cut eye and it's really a struggle. So with this one daw, mas madali because mas maliit yung tip niya compared to the other wing liner na nilabas ng Maybelline. So ayan. So let me show you how fine the tip is. Ayan. Another gift for my sister. This is the Majolica Mallorca eyeshadow cut, I guess. And this is in the shade... Hindi ko rin alam. Dahil naka-Japanese lahat sa likod. BE 700. Uh, meron siyang purple na eyeshadow, peach eyeshadow, and this light uh, yellowish eyeshadow with, I think this is a base or like primer. So this is the Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder and I've been wanting to get this for a long time. Pero tuwing pupunta talaga ako sa Essence Counter, sold out siya. This one, nalaman ko siya kay Ate Ann Glutes and matagal siyang na sold out. So these next items are from L'Oreal and it's from the same infallible line. Let's start off with the setting spray. So I have been looking for a cheaper alternative for my Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray which hindi ako makalabas ng bahay without setting my makeup with that because I swear by that product. And this one is a fraction of the price of that setting spray and if this will work this will be heaven sent and it's only 500 pesos compared to the urban decay one i think i got it for around 1600 to 1800 and one thing na problem ko don pag nauubo siya i had to source pa sa online shops before i can find one but this one is locally available already this powder is also from the same infallible line and it's the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte 16 hour powder. Claims to wear for 16 hours. I don't know about that. Hindi ko rin alam kung full coverage siya or what, but it's 600 pesos. This is, I think, uh, on the pricier side ng powders from the drugstore. So I don't know guys if you have seen my Sansan HD foundation and HD concealer review that is already up on my channel and I got this within this month and I am in the shade beige for the HD foundation and natural for the HD concealer. Kaya lang I think this natural shade masyado siyang maputi for me and I didn't really like the concealer. If you want to know why, just watch my first impressions review. This lippy set is from Happy Skin PH. It's my first time to try their product. And in this set, you'll get two lip and cheek mousse. And Shut Up and Kiss Me, lip and cheek mousse pala yung name niya. And it's in two shades. And Summer Crush and The Morning After. Actually, these are what I'm wearing right now. And pinagmix ko sila. The nude one, it's too nude. And then this one is too bright. So I mix both to get the shade. And lastly, I got this Nippon Cosmetics Sanitizer. And what it does is that it sanitizes your makeup. The way you see sanitizer is that you spray it on your powders. And siguro pwede rin sa lipsticks to sanitize it. And this will elongate the shelf life of your makeup. So that is it guys for the drugstore products that I got. Let's proceed to the high-end ones. I'm going to start off with one of the most raved items here in the YouTube beauty community and that's this Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder in Translucent. So the story is I have had this baking powder before kaya lang I didn't know how to use it so I gave it away. But with the baking trend that's going on right now which I know I'm very late with, ginagamit ko siya sa under eye and nafafine ko na mas lesser yung creasing na nangyayari. And then to enhance or what is this? To clean the contour, ginagawa ko yung tingting ni Jacqueline Hill with like a thin dense brush and nilalign ko siya dito under the contour. Tapos uh, nilalagay ko rin siya dito sa may part na to para ma-brighten siya. Hindi ko alam guys kung klaro yung pagkakasabi ko but that's how I use this powder and yeah, I'm loving it. And because I'm on this mist addiction right now, I got three makeup setting sprays and actually hindi siya lahat setting spray but these are for your face and I'm going to start off with this MAC Fix Plus. So this is already a repurchase because malapit ko na maubos yung Fix Plus that's on my vanity right now and what I love about this is that when you spray it on your face, it melts the makeup making it look like your second skin. It doesn't really prolong your makeup. I don't find na pinapatagal niyo yung makeup sa skin niyo, but it removes the powdery look so your makeup Makeup looks natural. Next, I have this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water, and 
This is my first time trying a primer water because usually ang spray ko na ginagamit is a makeup setting spray. That's something to prolong your makeup. And I spray it after I do everything on my face. And ito naman, nakita ko siya kay Jacqueline that she sprays this before doing her makeup. And another thing that I saw from Jacqueline Hill is this Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. And I find that this is a different kind of spray. It doesn't melt your makeup like the MAC Fix Plus or uh, hindi siya primer like the... Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. This one, um, I spray this after. It doesn't melt your makeup, but it adds this dewiness on top of your makeup. You can really say na nasa ibabaw lang siya na makeup, and it doesn't really remove most of the powdery look. I don't know, but it's a different kind of mist. I'm still trying different ways to use this, and I hope that I will love it because this is an expensive mist from the other mist that I purchased. This is neatly packaged and kakaiba siya. When you open the box, you just pull it up. And you get the mist. Ayan. Let's open this. The packaging is really cute. It's like this light purple spray bottle. And this is a glass bottle. The other sprays that I have mostly in plastic. But this one is smaller na. And then in a glass bottle pa. That's it. So I got four brushes right here. Three are from MAC and one is from Morphe. Going to start off with this trendy paddle brush. So I've seen a lot of brands come up with this paddle brush and ang pinaka known I think is the Artis one and then the MAC ones. These are expensive brushes and since I'm not used to using this kind of brush, it feels weird to me when I'm doing this motion. It's like I'm brushing my face or I don't know what I'm doing with my face with this but it works. Um, ako nagustuhan ko siya guys. It's mabilis kong na-apply ngayon yung foundation because of this and I also use this to apply my mineralized skin finish on select areas of my face for my everyday makeup because I don't powder yung aking buong face for everyday or daily basis and this one does it very nicely um, usually dito sa under eye and then sa T-zone ko, ginagamit ko rin siya. And that's it. Akala ko nung una for liquid foundations lang siya, but I also use this for powder. Um, you can get dupes for this one, but I don't know kung magiging same ang effect or same feel lang siya. But I have seen Nippon and Etude House come up with this kind of brush. It came in this box that says MAC and nakalagay siya na ganyan when I bought it. And another brush from MAC, this is a MAC 109. I use this to blend the contour edges. And this is the MAC 137 that I use for baking under my eyes. I know guys that MAC brushes are expensive, but from my experience, I have had my MAC brushes for more than 5 years. I think 5 to 6 years. And okay pa rin siya. I've had no issues with it separating from the ferrule or whatsoever, like shedding. Ganun pa rin ang itsura nila. So I think it's worth an investment. And lastly, for the brush, I got this Morphe M310. This is a fan brush that I purchased from my sister because she's reselling Morphe items and some other brands. I'll be doing a separate video video nga for her online shop to help her out and you know just a regular fan brush. Now we're off to the contour palettes that I got. Two of which guys are from Anastasia and one is from Morphe so let's start with Anastasia ones. So this is a cream contour palette and this is a regular powder contour palette. First time I saw this from other YouTubers I thought that it was a large palette but it's definitely not. Maliit lang siya. And yan. When you open it you get six contour powders and highlighting powders. And I think guys, pag naubos mo yung kahit alin dyang shade, you can buy an individual pan. But I don't know kung mauubos mo talaga siya. The best contour shade in this palette is this one in the middle because it is ashy or grayish. And then to warm my face up, I use um, this one. So this contour shade here appears too orange for me. And then for the highlight, I usually use um, a combination of both these two. This highlight, which is shimmery, I don't usually use. Itong mga matte ones lang. Next is this Anastasia Cream Contour Kit. I haven't used this one yet, kaya lang naswatch ko na siya. And hindi ko pa alam kung paano siya gamitin. I'm going to try and figure it out. But definitely, ang aking contour shade here is also, I guess, the one in the middle pa rin. And then for highlight, I think I'm going to use this yellow one and then this one to correct the dark circles that I have. And this one also highlight. Next is this Morphe Contour Palette that I purchased from my sister's shop. And this is the 9C. So this is how the palette looks like. And when you open it, you're going to get, oops, 9 contour and highlighting shades. But this one, guys, I haven't also tried yet. 
And my most expensive purchase in this haul is this Natasha Denona 28 eyeshadow palette. And hindi ko alam kung bakit ko siya binili, but I'm not regretting it. These are very pigmented ones. And yeah, let's open muna. So this pala is a purple blue palette. I shied away from the neutral one because meron na ako mga shades that are in those palette. And this is a good mixture of cool and warm tones. As you can see guys, I have already dipped my fingers into this goodness and I'm not regretting that I bought this. Kahit na expensive siya, the pigmentation is on that level. As in, the metallic ones are like different metallic ones, okay? Kasi maganda talaga siya and wala akong maisip na word kundi maganda kasi maganda talaga siya. It's really buttery, very pigmented. If you want to see pala the swatches of this eyeshadow palette, I did an IG post on the swatches and um, just check out my Instagram account. And my favorite palette as of the moment, together with the Natasha Denona one, is this Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons. I can't stress enough that if I'll be needing just one palette my whole life, I'll definitely choose this one. It's a good mixture of mattes and uh, shimmers. So I'm going to be honest guys, first I got this one because of the very cute packaging. It's light pink at minsan lang ako magkagusto ng light pink. And it's got a mirror. And what I love about it the most is the color selection. As you can see guys, this can give you the edgy look to the very feminine look. Sobrang okay ng color selection. And the pigmentation is also nice as well. And then I also got the MAC Retro Matte Liquid Lippies. I don't know guys if you've already seen my first impressions on that. And I'm just going to show you just one shade. Uh, the one that I got is tailored to this. And this is this uh, bright fuchsia color. So if you want to watch my first impressions review on that guys, I'm going to put a link in the description box below. Next, we have this Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer Triangular Brow Pencil. Um, the ever famous brow wiz, maliit yung tip niya, that's why you can really um, shape your brows. But this one, mas mabilis mong magagawa because it's already shaped for like uh, the brows. I'm um, ko ma describe, but I'm going to show you na lang. On one end, it's got a spoolie, and on the other end, brow pencil that's triangularly shaped. So this one naman guys, I saw from Kathleen Lights and she raved about this na mabilis na nagagawa yung brows niya with this type of brow pencil. I also got this concealer from Urban Decay. It's their Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer in the shade Medium Neutral and this is how it looks. The one that I use for my under eyes is a Nars Radiant Creamy Concealer. But this one has the same pigmentation and hindi siya gaano nakikrease. But I think I got it in the wrong shade. Maybe I can use this one for correcting first and then use um, a lighter shade of concealer. My under eyes creasing is definitely not new. So this one, hindi siya gaano nakikrease. So it's a miracle. So I got this Lime Crime Velveteens and it's my first time trying a Velveteen. And this is in the shade Riot. Then this is a nice like mauve pinkish color. I don't want to swatch it kasi hindi ko siya mabubara but something like this. I went to Beauty Bar to buy the Hollywood tape for my gown. I saw this Salon Perfect Press On Self Adhesive Lashes. And hindi mo na daw kailangan ng glue to stick this to your lash line. I don't know about that if this will really work. But it comes with two extra self adhesives. And I'll let you know kung okay siya. Now we can proceed with the skincare items. Malapit na ako matapos. Wait lang kayo. So this is another repurchase. It's a toner from Galarance. It's the White Plus Total Luminescent Brightening Pure Aqua Lotion. At naririnig nyo na naman ng mga nagtitila o kang manok. So I haven't found any toner that's better than this one. But it doesn't really do much to my skin. Kaya lang ko nagsistick sa kanya. Is it because it doesn't break me out and... Okay naman yung skin ko with this, but I want a better toner that I can really see a difference. You may have seen this guys from other bloggers or vloggers and this one was sent to me by Vanity Planet. And it comes with, I think, 4 replacements. The one that I'm using right now is a facial brush. The reason why I haven't shared this with all of you guys is because I'm still testing this out. I don't want to recommend something that I haven't tried and gusto ko talaga na mapatagal ko siya at least a month. If I like this brush guys, I'm going to share with you the discount code that they gave as a perk to my viewers. It's 70% off. So instead of paying $100 for this, you're going to pay $30. So I'm one of those guys who's curious about the Glam Glow products and I got my hands on them sa SM department store and I got these flat Ashmat Brightening Treatment. This is a mask and this is the Youth Cleanse Daily Exfoliating Cleanser. Sa dalawa na to, mas gusto ko itong cleanser and this is uh, much affordable than this one but this is still an expensive cleanser. It's like mud 
na isascrub mo sa face and then you emulsify it with water. This one naman guys, I haven't really used this one yet and um, siguro mga dalawang beses pa lang and I'm going to show you what's inside. I'm not a fan of the scent. It smells like shisha. I'm still not sure with my feelings for this product. So yeah. So another purchase from Beauty Bar. This is the Yada Special Caroline Collagen Ampule. And it comes in this really cute bright serum bottle. What it does is that it moisturizes your skin. Layering it with collagen. And okay naman siya. I find that when I wake up in the morning, parang na tighten yung face ko. Not really tighten, but the pores are less visible. And it comes with this dropper. And as you can see, medyo thick yung liquid there. Another moisturizer, this one is from Origins. This is a Make a Difference Plus Rejuvenating Moisturizer. Some days I love it, some days I hate it. Because um, pag super dry yung skin ko, this is my savior. It really moisturizes the skin. But on days when my skin is oily, I don't want this on my face. It's just gonna add another layer of oiliness. This is a thick moisturizer. Origin say that you can use this AM and PM, but I only suggest to use this PM. But if you have a dry skin, you can use it morning and evening. Then another mask that comes in this squeezy bottle. This is from Origins Drink Up Intensive Overnight Mask. So this is a mask that you don't wash off and you let it stay on your face overnight. Use this one when my face feels really dull and dry. And then when you wake up, your skin is going to feel really refreshed. And then another mask. Currently, I'm also loving mask. This is a Laneige Water Sleeping Mask. This is also like the other mask that I showed you. You let this on your face overnight and this is a repurchase. So, ibig sabihin na gustuhan ko siya. And then I got this single mask. This is from Yada. Yada Brightening Mask Pack. Last product that I'm going to show you is not with me. It's inside the refrigerator and it's the Hada BC Retinol Mask. I saw it from Safe Yoko Artillero, but I think we use different variants. Parang all in one ata yung kanya, and then my pack is like the Retinol one. And the way you use it, you put on the mask, masarap siya kasi nga malamig siya, guys. And then when you remove it, you don't rinse the liquid na na ng mask, you just pat it on your face and then proceed with your regular skincare regimen. I still haven't noticed any difference dahil kabibili ko lang niya and I think 795 pesos for a pack of 40 sheets is already a steal. You can use it for every day as your skincare pero ako hindi ko kaya because it's another step na pampatagal pagka nagsiskincare ka. So that is it guys. That's the end of my haul and thank God natapos ko siya. I hope I didn't bore you out guys and magandang haul ngayon because it's a mix of drugstore and high-end makeup products so everyone can relate kahit nasa budget or those who want to spend or invest on makeup or skincare items. Again guys, thank you so much for watching and we are now a family of 6,000 subscribers in a matter of 6 months. So maraming salamat for supporting my channel, for leaving your comments, for liking, for sharing, and for all the things that you do for me. I just can't wrap my mind that there are already people who's waiting for my video uploads. If it weren't for you guys, wala itong channel na ito and hindi naman ako gaganahan mag-upload ng videos kung alam kong wala naghihintay ng mga videos ko. I am ever more inspired to film for you and interact with you guys because you are my new set of friends. So before I end this video, I would like to give a shout out to my new subbies. Welcome to my channel. So that's it. Again, thank you so much for watching and see you on my next video. Bye!